Kate Nixon was killed during the Virginia Beach mass shooting. Now her family is trying to learn a new normal without her. Tonight, her husband and a family attorney is pushing city leaders for answers and an independent investigation. 13 News Now reporter Stephen Graves sat down today with her husband, Jason. Jason Nixon says the cameras, lights, and attention are far from what he wants right now, but while grieving, he feels an obligation for his late beloved wife, Kate. What I want is it fixed. My wife was a fixer and I want to fix it for her because she's not here to do that. For 10 years, Kate worked as an engineer for Virginia Beach, only for her life to be taken by a co-worker. Jason shows us the last text messages he sent her. An almost 20 year marriage ended. Three girls now without a mother. Father's Day is coming up. My, my daughters are trying to want to buy me presents for Father's Day. And, and Kate we always took him out and did that. Jason says he and Kate considered members of the Public Works Department family, but some people stood out for the wrong reasons, including the shooter. He was a very poor engineer. She thought that he was very uh, chauvinistic. Um, just an all around not a nice guy. She had bad vibes about him. He says Kate even discussed with him if she should take a gun to work for protection after claiming a different worker who was set to be fired talked about shooting up the place. If you can't have an open and independent investigation, how are you going to know what really happened? The father says he wanted to go beyond police and FBI for information like city response and even communication with families. He said he had trouble finding out if Kate died and even locating her body. Nixon says the investigation needs to happen now. We need to learn from this. In Virginia Beach, Stephen Graves, 13 News Now. And as a city spokeswoman says, it's too early for a decision on if an outside investigation should happen. City Council member Rosemary Wilson says she supports the idea. When we asked her if she thinks right now is the time, she said she can't comment. But she believes the city needs to be transparent, not only for the families, but for the public and themselves. Having someone independently come in, I, I don't see that there's a problem with, you know, we have to, our folks and the FBI, they've got to do their own investigation, but what's wrong with an independent eyes looking at it? Mm -hmm. I don't see a problem with that. We have nothing to hide. We also asked the councilwoman what she thinks an investigation would look like, and she told us this is unprecedented, and when the time comes, they will take suggestions.